It's Matt Martin with the Grass Factor. Got a beautiful renovation project doing, going after today. Um, you can see behind me, junkyard in terms of turf grass quality. Um, a lot of crabgrass, a lot of everything. Uh, a lot of Dallas grass, a lot of Paspalum variety. So what are we doing? Today we're going with the RGS product. We're going with Roundup, we're going with fertilizer, we're going with seed, we're going to aerate this, we're going to nail drag it just like we did before, and uh, see if we can't turn it into a beautiful yard by the end of the year. So, anyway, we're invincible. So I've got the first aeration done, my first pass at least. I uh, still have a long way to go. Um, I'm gonna go at it a couple more directions and then do it in reverse to really chew the ground up. And then from that point, I will begin mat dragging it. So anyway, just gonna show you what it looked like after the first one here. Definitely starting to tear some, uh, some chunks up. I'll show you one thing also that I uncovered while I was doing this. So when I'm aerating and I begin to pull up chunks like this with the aerator uh, going forward, typically that is a sign to me that there are or have been grub populations. If we move in down here, so this yard was extremely drought stressed the first time I looked at it. And uh, we got a little bit of rain and some of this is just coming up in chunk, chunks. It's looking really weak. Uh, that right there, I mean, it's just, it's just scraping off. That's coming up like carpet. So uh, I've agitated the ground now so much, I'm probably not gonna find any grubs at the surface. But uh, this, this right here tells me that there have been grub worms active in this yard. Uh, so what are we gonna do? We're also gonna have to put down a grub control. So anyway that's another thing to just keep in mind while you're aerating these yards if you begin pulling up chunks just during your first pass just a regular aeration you begin pulling up chunks chances are that is a sign that you've got grub activity oh look that didn't take long see if i can find a little bugger grubs so anyway i knew something was up it feels it feels different underneath your feet just walking on it so 
Ah, just another problem to contend with, but at least we caught it now uh, instead of later. So anyway, let's get back after it with the second one and I'll update you again. All right, second pass is done. I was gonna do a third pass backwards, um, but actually I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the nail drag and uh and start ripping this baby up when you want to get off that darkest Let's do it. ground the gravity pulls you straight down earth from a bird's eye view you should grow feathers and see this too y'all so wrapping up this renovation project let me take you through it one more time show you the end result So I was able to mat drag it and aerate it at the same time the last time. It really did a good job of ripping it up. It's on a little bit of a slope here, so a little concerned, but I've got so many aeration holes on this slope right here that I think it's all going to work out just fine. We got light frequent ir irrigation, so I think all in all, it's going to be great. All right, everyone, so that's the end of my day. I uh, just wanted to do something a little different. My son is sick. Just wanted to do something a little different, kind of take you through a day in the life of what it's like for me while I'm out in the field. Um, <coughs> now that I've got that video out, too, I kind of wanted to pose a question and see if y'all would be more interested in uh, me continuing these line of videos. Um, there's always things I can do related to turf grass as far as tips and tricks and stuff, but I also kind of wanted to pose the option of having more of a uh, quote-unquote vlog style video series. Of course, I want to continue doing the whiteboard series. I really enjoy that. Uh, I really enjoy the Sunday show, um, but I, I kind of enjoy just you know documenting what I do day in and day out, and it's fun for me to go back and be able to watch. So. I didn't know if y'all would be interested in that too. If so, I can start, you know, maybe you know, doing like a uh, you know a, a vlog series every every uh, every few days, maybe every other day or something. So anyway, y'all keep me posted. Comment down below. Let me know if you would like to see something like that because uh, anyway, I, it it'd be fun for me. So anyway, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Y'all have a good one.